It's Sunday, October 8, 2023, about 10.45 in the morning, and I'm over here at the Great Harbor Marina to see what's left of the place after last night's storm. It was windy, not horrible. We had just offshore some 55 knot gusts, but in here it was probably a lot less. Uh, so let's take a look at the marina and see what happened. Well, here we go. Everything is there. Sequester is over there. She looks fine. Nicely rinsed. We got three and a quarter inches of rain at home. I'm not sure how much they got over here. The big thing that happened is the power went out at 1030 last night. Prior to that, there were some scattered outages shown on the power company's webpage. But then the power went out, and I think it was a general outage because uh, if you listen, you can probably hear the sound of generators here in Southwest Harbor. And I passed a couple power trucks on the way over here. So it's pretty uh, quiet in here right now. The wind was mostly east last night, started out northeast and then veered east and then southeast and then finally ended up uh, uh, what it is now, which is southwest or sort of west-southwest. But everything here in the harbor looks fine. The only thing that looks like it might have uh, taken a bit of a hit is the sunken schooner there. Uh, it looks like it shifted a little bit. The stern is lower than it was, but still there. So other than that, not much has changed. And I don't see any sign that any of the other boats in the harbor had any issues. So let's go down and take a look at Sequester. Just looking at boats here right off. I don't see any problems with any of the boats. Uh, some canvas over a window uh, corner of it uh, came off on that uh, boat right down there. The bloom with the ivory sail cover fourth boat. <laughs> but that's a pretty minor a snap let loose. Okay, we'll go down and see what's going on down here. Out at Seawall, there's some pretty good sized surf running, probably about 10 footers, but it's uh, approaching low tide. Low tide's in about a little over an hour, so uh, it's just surf, it's not causing any problems. Uh, the, it is attracting a lot of tourists. There were lots of people at Seawall watching the surf. As you can see, Everybody here survived without any issues. So we'll go have a look, see what Sequester looks like as we walk down here. And a few other boats. A new Hinkley 40 foot jet boat. Brand new one. Ooh, teak decks. Very fancy. You always tell they're new because they have a few patches where uh, they pop them out of the mold. These boats are built by resin infusion. There are always a few spots where the molded surface is not perfect. Usually around sharp corners and stuff like right here. But they get that repaired and you'll never know it's there. Okay, boats are moving around a little. Still, there's a little surge in here, I think. Waves here in the marina. Pretty minimal. As you can see. Now well, we got uh, well, inch, one inchers over here. Let's we'll see what Sequester looks like. Looks like the Genoa, which I repaired after the last storm came through it just fine. We were out sailing on Friday and when I rolled the sail up I made sure I had a really tight furl so that uh, 
it wouldn't be a problem. And we probably saw some gusts in here around 40 knots. But the boat rode through it just fine. And I see my giant new fenders I bought before the last storm are doing all right. Okay. Alrighty, I think what I'll be doing today is taking a few of these lines off. And, because uh, the storm is, as you can see, over. It was a very fast hitting storm. We didn't really have any wind before, oh, around 7 o'clock, 6, 7 o'clock last night. And the wind was over by about 3 o'clock in the morning. So 8 or 9 hours and that was it. It was mostly rain. Here, Sequester got a nice rinse, which is good. So, let's go below and see if there are any leaks from three and a quarter inches of rain. Okay, I've checked the boat out. Uh, we had a small leak at uh, in our chart cabinet uh, over the quarter berth. They got a little water on the quarter berth, not much. Nothing to worry about, it'll dry out pretty quickly. And there was a little bit of water on the sole and the head. It comes in through uh, one of the vents there. And unfortunately, there's no way to close it off. So we got a couple ounces got in there. And we also had a little bit of water, enough to make the sponge I had up against the starboard forward chain plate damp. But no big deal. Uh, I'd say all together we got maybe three, four ounces of water into the boat, which isn't bad. And uh, so she came through it just fine, no problems. Just a matter now of getting the extra lines off and you know unwrapping the line I put around the uh, mizzen, taking the sail ties I tied onto the Genoa off, and the boat will be ready to sail again. And hopefully we can get out. A couple times this coming week. So we survived the passage of the remnants of Philippe and it looks like everybody else in the harbor came through just fine too. So anyway that's uh, the report from sailing vessel sequester in Southwest Harbor Maine the day after the second uh, tropical storm of the season passed through the area. Although this one was, you know, extra tropical and it was, uh, it was windy, but it was mostly a rain event. Okay. Thanks for watching.